All right, this is a uh, 2001 Honda Odyssey four-speed transmission. This is the second factory supplied transmission that failed. The first one at 75,000. This one failed at 115,000. So only 40,000 miles torque converter overheated. Uh, had a problem after I rebuilt it with uh, no reverse. So upon looking inside, I wanted to show the difference. This is the uh, reverse selector fork. And if we look up inside, we see here the selecting action. You can see there's two gears here. Now these two are locked in place. And these two here are not. When I go down, these two are now locked, but this one is not free action. So we actually have uninhibited action now. The point here is that this you, you need to see that gap there and there is a lip in the top portion of this uh, uh, collar selector and it is extremely important obviously that this be done the right way and I will show you the difference as I said in this position this is free and so with the main input shaft spinning everybody wants to do their job in the reverse position uh, I can't really hold it well you can see if I slowly turn it we have disengagement here see that little tension in the parts kind of makes them want to do their thing but as soon as I put it down this down position is actually a forward gear action. This one would be your third gear selector. This would actually be in, I believe, park and reverse, including the fourth gear clutch. I'll show you it installed the wrong way in just a moment. 